cabin trip and the car is loaded kids are ready we're on our way now. i'm so excited for this cabin trip this is our first time going cabining at a provincial park and look how stuffed our trunk is and this is just for a cabining trip usually for camping it's even worse than that our first stop is pizza pizza today we're grabbing a quick lunch before we head out on the road so in terms of pizza none of the meat pizzas are halal so we just decided to get a vegetarian pizza and they have a new poutine which is a canadian staple if you haven't heard about poutine it's just basically fries and gravy with cheese and it's really good my daughter is obsessed with poutine so anytime she sees it on a menu she has to have it we just have to make sure that it is halal and it is a vegetarian gravy and this one was so that was perfect this place was actually dead when we got there so we had the whole place to ourselves, which was great i wouldn't say pizza pizza has the best pizza but it's definitely the most affordable pizza we also have some great pizza stores like pizza hut and pizza nova and those ones are our favorite but this one was actually pretty good too especially when it's fresh okay so we just got yes did we get a medium pizza? Yeah. Cool. i'm doing good how are you steaming It looks really good. Yeah. Fresh. I think I'm gonna need chili flakes though. Me too. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> Happy also got a poutine. Oh, uh, you wore your monkey bell and stuff. Oh, that's like one. They're like this, so put your thing. We just had a quick meal and then we were on our way. The girls brought their tablets and downloaded some shows and movies on it so that would keep them occupied for a couple of hours. We are heading to Silent Lake which is just under two hours away from us. Just picked up some quick snacks for the road trip. I ended up getting this Starbucks mocha frappuccino. This one is so good. It's my favorite and got some chips as well. So if you're looking to book a campsite or a cabin at a provincial park, you just have to do that online or you can do it through the phone. All the information is online at ontarioparks.com. When we usually leave for our camping trip, we leave a little earlier because the check-in time for the campsite is two o'clock, but the check-in time for the cabin we booked was 4 p.m we were actually running a little late and we had to do an after hours check-in they gave us a call and told us the code for our cabin and i actually didn't know that we would have to do an after hours check-in but they were really great the all the staff at the silent lake provincial park was super friendly they actually left us an envelope at the door with our code just in case we forgot it along with a few other codes that we would need for our stay and over the phone they just told us to come grab the permits in the morning from the park office. Yeah, this one, cabin visitors only. Straight up, I think. Two years. Just cabin visitors only, right? Yeah. No. All right, we just made it to our cabin. There's a lot of mosquitoes. There are a lot of mosquitoes. And I'm just going to go in and give you guys a quick look. Mm, this is it. Tiny. Well, it looks tiny from here. That would not be fun. There are a lot of mosquitoes. Okay, and this one at least has a ramp. No stairs right here. Cool. We have a fire pit, but there's a total fire ban right now because of the wildfires, so can't use that. And then we have a picnic bench, which is nice because it's like off to the side, so it's like really private. Yeah, it says, and then they have an outdoor barbecue here. Sorry about that. What? Okay. Hey, there's a little shoe cleaning thing here. Yeah, I know. 
You clean the food, Mama. You do the kind of dirty. <laughs> Putting in the code so we can get in. I can see in here. I can see. Okay, after struggling with the lock for a little bit, we're in. In the new machine. Yeah, it's nice. It's got like a nice little area here we can like sit. Yeah, it has a little like, is this the, called like a little sunroom? Mudroom. Our mudroom. Like one guy is heating over here. It's pretty clean actually. It's really bigger than I showed it. Oh, so you hang your clothes over the heater? Yeah, I think this is like the yeah, drying rack here. They so have some chairs. Here. So cool. Nice. I don't know if you even can even sit outside because there's so many mosquitoes. Wow, nice. A little bench over here. Some cleaning supplies. It smells really nice too. It smells really fresh. Like somebody came in here and sprayed it with something. Which is nice. A little bench over here. Oh, yeah, long yeah, you should wear something long sleeves. I'm wearing something long sleeves, so I haven't got any bites yet. But yeah, I like the, I really like all the windows here. It's so nice. We get in. Do you have a microwave in the middle? Do you have a fan in here? It's the exact same one here in my home. There's a little microwave, a fridge, some storage. Oh, Oh, very cool. Oh, oh they actually items. have one for us too. Yeah, That's very nice. Some garbage bags too. Oh, a little kettle. Wow, it's really nice. Sure, very clean. Sure, very new looking. Oh, Dining area. A fireplace. That's really cool. And they have the garbage right there too. Yeah, they do with Yeah, I saw that. It's a very cool design. And there's some and I get the whole uh, queen bed. And a bunk bed. Okay, you guys can fight over that. No, I'm not sleeping on top bed. Night stand. I feel like sleeping. I can have an iPad in there. Very old school looking lamp. It's kind of cool. So and that's it. Very nice. And there's a fan in here too. Whoa, this is cool. I never saw it like Little storage area. Yeah, is this how it is? An extra fan and a heater. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's that little way. That's surprising. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, now we can make our noodles. This is a kettle. Wow, that cabin is actually surprisingly really nice. It's our first time staying in a cabin. We usually do camping, so we have to come here and then do like the whole setup. Campsites are on the other side, and this is just cabin, so there are like, I believe like eight or 10 cabins. It's so the water outside. There are a lot of mosquitoes. We're just gonna go ahead and bring all of our stuff in now. Okay, so we just brought in a bunch of our stuff, and we had to bring our own bedding. So we brought in our sheets and comforters and of course we still have to bring in our own food and things like that. So I have everything in the cooler over here and then Amina's going to help me put it in the fridge. And it has like a lot of storage like for our drinks. Yeah. It's really good because you got Perfect. Help. So we finished setting up in here. I think we're going to go explore. I think the lake is like walking distance from here. So we'll just walk over and see how close it actually is. This is our first time at Silent Lake Provincial Park. We just quickly put everything away, worked as a team, so we got that done fairly quickly and I just wanted to make the beds because it is super annoying to do that at the end of the night when you are really tired. <laughs> For right now, I usually got you. Somebody coming in. We got majority of the stuff done. The beds are done. Afia's up there. <laughs> Try to put the sheet on that one. Bunk beds are really hard to put sheets on. So Afia's volunteered to do that. Okay, I'm making her do that, but she's doing it. <laughs> and then Amina and Afia also worked on organizing the fridge. Amina's opening the drink. Amina's opening up all the drinks and putting them in the fridge. Add this part here. I pre-cut everything so it's easier. And I just have to pull out a cutting board and chop everything up. Um, and here's all the food that we have in here. And Shark just discovered there's actually a little freezer section in here. It's really tiny, but it is there. I just thought this was a fridge. 
tomatoes and meat inside Very it. cool. And we can have the drinks over here. Gonna quickly show you some of the food that I did bring on the trip that are quick and easy to make. Um, so we got some noodle bowls. I tried not to do too many unhealthy things, but that's really good for like late at night when it's a little cold outside. So something warm for us. Um, the kids want to do s'mores, of course. Every time we come camping, they want to do s'mores. And then I have some oatmeal, some crackers I'm gonna pick out, some other crackers for the kids, popcorn because we knew this time around we're gonna have a microwave, bananas, we're gonna do burgers later so we have that and of course Pakistani so we have some naan. Nutella is for the s'mores, hot dog buns because we're gonna do hot dogs also, some bread and yeah of course some oil I always pop it in a little container I couldn't find a container so I had to put it in a water bottle and then I also have some halal marshmallows had to get this from the Pakistani Indian grocery store. So I bought a couple of these. These are rainbow. They're really cute. And then of course we have to have a little bit of extra sweets because I don't eat s'mores and I don't like marshmallows. So got some mini donuts here. And we also have some juice, some chips as snacks. And then I'll show you what's in the fridge and the stuff that it, I kind of prepared for our trip. Kids and my husband always request Greek pasta salad. So we have that, we have the hot dogs that I just showed you the buns for. Like I said, I like to pre-cut the cucumbers and all the toppings really for burgers. And then we have our mayo and of course some hot sauce and ketchup and mustard in these little containers so we can save a little space our car gets super full so we try to limit the things that we bring and then we have some eggs and then of course we need some plates and stuff this cabin has everything um indoors obviously it doesn't have a stove and stuff so we either got to use a barbecue that's outside or we also brought a portable stove that we can use and well there is no running water so i'll show you the water tap usually is really close we also needed some plates some pots and pans to cook with and then we need some extra things like spices i like to put it in these little ziploc bags so i save a little space saran wrap oil coffee of course i need my coffee in the morning so to strike and then just extra things like scissors, a lighter. I noticed that they provide one at this cabin, but just in case, I brought my own sanitizer, some cleaning supplies. That's about it. We also needed to get some water bottles. Okay, we're just gonna go to the washroom. It was actually really close. We could actually just walk to it. I and mean, I just bought some wild mushrooms. The comfort station's right there, so those are the cleaner washrooms, and we always go to those ones. And the canoe rental's right there, and the water is right there. I see it. They're red, so it's very noticeable. Maybe that's why. Right. Mommy? Come on, Anna. Mommy is running away. Okay, we realize that's actually a beach. I think they have two beaches. This one is closer to the cabins, and the other one's closer to the campgrounds. Very nice. It's so nice. It is very nice. Well, at this time, it's completely empty. I'm sure people come during the day. I right know it's like 6 o'clock. Or maybe this is just the beach a lot of people don't come to. Because they know this place has two beaches. Afia, shouldn't we be going to the washroom? We came here to go to the washroom. We got distracted. It's actually not cold. It's like it's on the, like the bed. These are the washrooms at the comfort station. They are usually pretty clean. Sometimes you'll find them dirty, but the staff does regularly clean them. The comfort stations also have a shower, laundry facilities, and a dishwashing area. I will show you the showers at the comfort station a little later because I didn't realize the showers by the cabins require a code, and I did not remember the code. They have these comfort stations throughout the park. This one is the closest one to the cabins and it's actually walking distance very close to our cabin but when you are camping sometimes they're not super close to your campsite so you do have to drive to them there are other washrooms usually in walking distance just regular outdoor washrooms i prefer the comfort station over them just because the other ones have a lot more bugs in them because they are a little more open most ontario parks usually have this little notice board next to the comfort station and they're great if you want more information about the park office hours and the map of the park as well as if they have any rentals and other services. How beautiful. Silent Lake is so good. Yeah, Silent Lake is actually very silent, very quiet in here. Like 
guess that's where it gets its name from. Peaceful, very quiet. There's literally nobody here. Did you guys see any little fish? Probably. It looks very shallow to this point. I mean, it gets deeper right there. You can tell because they have it blocked off. See how this light and then it's dark? Yeah. That means the water gets deeper out there. So if I can at least cast out that way, I'm sure it might be a catch some fish. It's pretty shallow here. When we rent the canoe, we should do all of that that area right there. Like it goes yeah, into that area. These are the canoes. Okay, so there's a little trail there. It says it's labeled A. Oh, and there's a map right here that says Silent Lake Summer Trail System. Ooh, okay, let's go check that out. This is the map. There's hiking trails right there. Waterfall. Smell fish. You smell fish? That sound is so soothing. I got bit by something. Yeah, it's like a little creep. Here we are driving by another comfort station that is closer to the campsites and we also noticed another canoe launch area on the map so we wanted to see what that was like. I just wanted to show you guys quickly here how a campsite looks like. They just give you a picnic bench and it has a fire pit. All of them look very similar. Some of them are a little bit smaller than the others but we noticed at this park at this time most of them were empty. This might be due to the full fire ban that is in effect at the park because of the wildfires in Ontario or it could be because we actually were at this park on a weekday from Monday to Wednesday and it was really quiet. I think this is another canoe launch place right there because I see a few canoes right there. Just be careful walking down here. You guys should have wore your running shoes. I know because I forgot my name is Claire. Did it, it run away? His head up another little crack. He was just staring at me. It was cute, but it scared me. Oh, I could just saw a snake. Did they play? I got scared. I mean, it's really hard to tell. It's cute, but it's really hard to tell with all the all the tree roots. I like tree roots. They're fun. Can they go inside? It's a tiny snake, it's not that kind of snake. Okay, let's go check out the snake. It's Pretty sure it's a real snake, guys. It's not a big one. But it is a moving. Is it still alive? Very calm right now. I wonder what lives in here. All right, that was cool. We're getting out of here. So many bugs. That was a lot of fun. We saw a snake, and now we're like hiking back. We are in June, and June is like bug season, I would say. Mosquito season. Sort of a bug just my mind. <sighs> That was live footage of a bug going into my eye. Not the live It flashed before my eyes when I saw that snake. <laughs> it's so small. It was cute. It kind of like was smiling at me. Just came back from exploring and had a little snack. Leftover pizza from earlier. Some donuts. Some chips. And now we're heading back out. We only have a couple of hours before it gets dark. Shark is going to attempt to do some fishing. We might just relax by the beach. I don't think we need to take any snacks right now, but 
Maybe tomorrow we'll like set up with some snacks and stuff. Yeah, I'm um, um, let's do a picnic. Best so then we can do a picnic. Yep. For now, let's take some water though, okay? Mm -hmm. This cabin is so cozy. This is actually the first time we're staying in a cabin. We always go camping, so we do the whole tent setup, and it takes a while once we get there. So it's a little exhausting, but so much fun. Um, we've been to like almost, I would say, 10 provincial parks. This is the first time we're at Silent Lake Provincial Park. And it is so nice in here. It's definitely gone beyond our expectations. This uh, cabin was actually available for a couple of days. Honestly, the cabins are always booked, so that's why we never really um, end up staying in one. And they were booked like months in advance and there's never any available, but we were lucky enough to find this one that was available for a couple of days. And we ended up booking it for two nights. So I've been coming camping since I was a kid and honestly there weren't a lot of like Pakistani families back then camping so it's nice to see a lot of different types of families camping and it's so much fun getting to show the girls a lot of the things that we used to do when we were little and we look forward to it every summer as you know Canada in general has a very small summer well according to me because I love summer so I wish it was longer it's about two three months of like really hot weather and then it kind of starts getting Older or cooler at the end of like September. Last year we had, I would say, the worst experience of camping because the temperatures fell to like, I wanna say like six, seven, eight degrees at night and we were all freezing. And that was when we were camping. So we had a tent and we had everything, I would say, but our tent isn't like insulated or anything. So we literally froze the whole night. None of us slept. We woke up in the morning and slept in the car for a little bit. And then we decided to just cut our trip short and go back home because it was that uncomfortable. Right, Ami? Really cold. Yeah, these guys and were like, like shivering at night. I was shivering. I and... didn't get any sleep. Mm -hmm. I didn't fall asleep one time. Yeah, and you know, like it's just not fun when you don't get any sleep, then you have no energy to do anything the next day. So we were like exhausted. We tried to make the most of it, but then we ended up cutting our trip short and just going back home. So this time, Time. we are really happy that we were able to book a cabin and there was actually one available because these are obviously insulated they also are available during the winter here so that is perfect i actually would love to come here in the in winter, the winter yeah and try some winter activities which by the way i have never done we always go camping in the summer so that would be a pretty great experience okay this time we're gonna walk to the same area the beach area and i just want to quickly show you the water tap it's right there very close Oh yeah, I didn't know those right there. Yeah, you don't know. Get some water for like washing your hands and stuff. Yeah. We only have a couple hours left until sunset, so I think this is probably it. I don't think we're gonna be able to do anything else. Oh my god, there's so many bugs. <laughs> there's literally such big bugs right there. Hopefully, hopefully we catch something and then I can show you that. But yeah, aside from fishing and the girls are just enjoying the water, but they're not in their water clothes today. So they're just like putting their feet in and the water's really, really cold. So maybe we can do swimming during the day tomorrow and <laughs> these guys are having a blast. Maybe we can do swimming during the day tomorrow when we change into our swimming clothes. And we'll probably have the full day tomorrow to do a whole bunch of stuff. It's so nice and calm right now. There's barely anybody here. There's just, just a couple of people just relaxing. I think they're waiting for the sunset because that's going to be really nice to watch. There's 2,000 subscribers and 2 million of it. Million, like two million subscribers get a free order of McDonald's for one month. <laughs> no, yeah, they don't. One month, one month. No, they don't. Yeah. I see that wink. No, they don't. I can't afford that. You guys are crazy. Yeah. What does that mean? Do you own McDonald's today for my mom? No, <laughs> definitely not. I want to see if I can get to that rock over there. Why? I don't know. Just because. Yeah. Who wants to be adventurous like, with me? Like we just saw this little thing. It looks really cool. So they have free discovery kits, um, which would be really cool for kids. Explore kit, and then they have art in the park kit, and then they have the night sky kit coming soon. We also noticed this. You can get ice cream at the park store, and you can get some water toys at the park store as well. Okay, so apparently Shari caught something, but we missed it because I had to take Afia to the washroom. Yay! <laughs> we decided to walk back because we were pretty done for the day. Might come back out to do stargazing, but not entirely sure. 
and that's pretty much it for this video guys we had such a fun full day we were exhausted we came back and had some food and then of course we had to do one final run to the washroom if you guys want to see what we did on the rest of our cabining trip make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up i would really appreciate it comment down below and let me know if you guys would ever go cabining or camping i will see you next time thanks for watching I think we should just look. It is like a pitch black. And of course, I have to use the washroom one last time before we go to sleep. So we're going out. Baba's here, they're all here. I'm a little bit scared. We're doing one last watch and run before bed. I'm trying to keep it down because I'm sure everyone's sleeping. It's 11. Stop it, honey. Oh my god, there's so many stars. So many stars. When you go up to the clearing by the beach, we'll probably see a lot of stars. Look behind you. I'm just using my lights. Yeah, I know. There are a lot of stars. A lot of stars, but we're gonna wait till we get to the clearing and start washing. Looks like a mission shoot. I think somebody's at the beach because I hear people talking. Too good now to bed it, put people out. Yeah, and it's so bright here right now. Going around the washrooms. There's people at the beach. Okay, I would love to show you guys the stars, but I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see it. The camera's not gonna catch it. Oh, I see one little one, but there are actually so many. So many stars. Ah, oh, it looks so beautiful. Yeah. There are so many stars, it looks stunning. Yeah. And when Baba heard the flush when you were outside, he thought it was a bear. Yeah, he's That's it for day one. See you in the morning. Hope you enjoy. Bye.